Hey, Vegeta, you look grumpy as always. Did someone steal your last pudding cup again? Funny, Kakarot. At least I don't need food bribes to train. How many buffets did you hit today? Lost count? Buffets? Just the usual. Keeps me fueled for saving the world. Unlike you, who needs to brood for power-ups. Does scowling burn calories? Scowling is strategic, Kakarot. You wouldn't understand. You're too busy smiling like you just want a lifetime supply of ramen. Smiling's better than looking constipated. Speaking of which, how's that Super Saiyan hair gel working out? Takes a lot to keep it that spiky? Spiky hair is a mark of royalty. Unlike your unruly mess. What's your secret? Hurricane-level winds? Hurricane winds are nothing. At least I don't need gravity chambers just to keep up. You call that training? Sounds like a vacation for your ego. Vacation? Says the guy who treats battles like a game. Do you even know what strategy is, or do you just punch things until they stop moving? Punching works pretty well, Vegeta. At least I don't have a catchphrase for every move. Final flash? More like final fail. Final fail? Better than your came hame what chant. Ever thought about speeding it up? Or do you need the extra time to think? Thinking's overrated, Vegeta. I let my fists do the talking. Unlike you, who needs a monologue before every fight. You write those in advance. Monologues are for instilling fear, Kakarot. Not that you'd know being as intimidating as a lost puppy. Lost puppy? Better than being a grumpy cat. When's the last time you smiled, Vegeta? Did your face forget how? <laughs> you know, Vegeta, you're all right. For a guy who's always trying to play catch-up. And you, Kakarot, you're not too bad either. For an overgrown child. And so, Goku and Vegeta continue their humorous exchange, each respecting the other's strengths and quirks. Even the mightiest Saiyans need a good laugh now and then.